Hello, my name is Starla and I am excited to talk to you today about what it is that I do as a career. I'm a radiology technologist and I've been doing this for over 20 years. Radiology technologists perform examinations that produce images on a screen, kind of like a, a laptop or a TV, for doctors called radiologists who look at the images we take and reads them. And you probably know this as x-rays. What I love most about my field is there are so many different career paths that you can take in radiology. But first, you will need to apply and get accepted into an intense competitive radiology program that lasts two years. It's a challenging program, but a very rewarding one, I promise you. You um, get to help people when they're most vulnerable with their health. Uh, you will be in a classroom setting and you will log a lot of clinical hours that helps you prepare to take a national registry that you will need to pass in order to be hired as a radiology technologist anywhere in the country. In x-ray school, you learn how to put patients in certain positions in order to create a picture for the radiologist to see what's going on inside of a person's body. Radiology technologists can work anywhere. They can work in a hospital setting, a doctor's office, an urgent care center. Uh, they can work as a travel tech, meaning they can travel all to all different parts of the country and even the world and perform x-rays where they're needed because there's such a shortage of radiology techs out there. In order for you to do well in this field, you will need to enjoy working in a healthcare environment, enjoy working with different kinds of people, and also enjoy learning technology on, and on how things work. You definitely have to be patient, and you have to be patient with the people that you're treating and also the people that you work with. You have to learn to cooperate well with others because learn, you have to learn to be tolerant because everybody's different and you have to deal with different personalities. Not everyone is like you. Critical thinking is huge in this field. Not every patient is going to be the same and not every situation is the same. You learn certain ways to get people in positions and sometimes those patients can't get into those positions because of their injury. So you have to think on your feet, think of different ways to be able to get the x-ray for your radiologist. That's where creativity comes in. <laughs> so you have to be creative in the sense of using objects to help prop up patients and help them stay still in a position long enough for you to shoot the x-ray. This job is a great way to contribute to society because by helping family, friends, neighbors, and complete strangers with their health care needs, because that's when they need you the most. I love this career choice because there's so many different career paths that you can take in radiology after you complete the two years of school and clinicals. You can do regular x-rays, which is just a single shot x-rays to look inside of the person's body. You can do mammography, which is taking a single shot x-ray to detect breast cancer in women and men. You can do CT, which is CAT scan, which is similar to single shot x-rays, but it's in a big circular tube and it takes several single shot x-rays in a circle. Then there's MRI. It's a big magnet that uses sound waves and it's kind of like how dolphins and whales use echolocation to find things. So we make a lot of noise and the sound waves bounce off of different parts of the body and we're able to capture that in an image for the radiologist to be able to see what's going on inside of a person's body. And it can be really loud. Last but not least, you can do ultrasound. Ultrasound uses sound in a different way, but it takes pictures of the inside. It can take pictures of inside of your stomach and body parts, and a doctor can then see what's happening inside of you and know how to help you feel better. You can cross train in any one of these modalities that I just talked about, and you don't have to go back to school for that. Your job will train you how to perform these exams, except for ultrasound. You will have to go back to school and do an ultrasound program. But as far as the other modalities, there are courses that you can take on your own and can self-study and help prepare you to take an individual registry in each new modality. You can also get a four-year degree in healthcare administration, or you can go into education and teach others how to become a radiology technologist as well. So now I want to show you just a couple of pictures of what it is that you will be taking once you become a radiology technologist. So this person broke their arm, their forearm, right? So you can see right there the, the two bones and you can clearly see how that one bone is broken there. So that's an image that we can take as well to help the radiologist say, yep, they broke a bone. 
The most common fracture in the hand is this one right here. It's called the boxer's fracture. And it's right here, this one here. A lot of um, people do that when they box or when they get in fights. So we see this quite often in the emergency room. <laughs> Sometimes people break their collarbones and you can see this right here, kind of like, yep, they snapped it right here. Whew, ouch. Then you have one with the ankle. Sometimes people break their ankles and you can see right here, this is kind of broke off. And then you can also go into the OR with doctors and help them put metal nails and plates and things like that to fix broken ankles as well. Pretty cool, right? All right, this is regular x-ray. So this is our x-ray tube. And we use this light to help us determine where we want to be able to take an x-ray. So we can take x-rays of hands, legs, any part of the body that you can take. And because we're in this pandemic, we do a lot of chest x-rays. So this machine can move, and we turn this, so we go to our chest x-ray board, and we can take a chest x-ray. We have people come in here, and we just have them take two pictures, one this way, and then one this way, and then that way we can see what's going on in their lungs because of this COVID-19 pandemic as well. The next modality is mammography. This is a machine that we use to help detect breast cancer in women and men. We're able to save lives every day with this machine right here. And the next one is CAT scan. So it looks similar to MRI. It's got the little circle and we call this the donut. And it's just like regular x-rays, they're single shot, but they single shot x-rays in a circular pattern. So that way we can see things inside the body a lot clearer as well. So this right here is our MRI machine, and I can't go too far in because it's made of a magnet and it can pull things, like anything magnet or uh, metal can get sucked into that thing. So MRI is a sound wave and almost like uh, dolphins and whales, how they use echolocation sound to, in order to locate things. It's, that's how MRI kind of works. We make a lot of sound and the sound waves bounce off the body and we're able to capture that and we're able to see all the insides of people's hearts, ligaments, tendons, all kinds of things and see what's going on in there. So we are gonna do a, um, this is what it sounds like when you're in there. It's really loud, we have to give people earplugs. The next modality is ultrasound. So ultrasound uses sound, just like MRI, but in a different way, sound waves. And also, um, in ultrasound, you have to put this warm goo on the little probe, is what this little probe is here. And then you put it on the body part, and you're able to see all the stuff that you want to inside of a person's body as well. A lot of people associate, associate ultrasound when people are having babies because we're able to see babies very, very easily with ultrasound. That's pretty cool to see all the machines that we use in each modality, right? This job is very rewarding and the job security is there. Even in this pandemic, we are considered essential workers and you are always advancing and you are always learning something new and there is always room for improvement. Like I tell my kids, go out and be amazing because you got this.